Hey, how you doing? Today, you're gonna learn how to use adjectives to describe a place. Let's get started. There are two types of adjectives which I'm gonna teach you today. Those are called fact and opinion adjectives. Fact adjectives are the ones which give factual information. For example, a tall building, a red shirt, an academic essay. The adjectives tall, red, and academic are called fact adjectives because they provide tangible information. On the other hand, opinion adjectives are the ones which express the speaker's opinion. For example, a beautiful building, an attractive shirt, an interesting essay. The three adjectives, beautiful, attractive, and interesting, are called opinion adjectives because they show the thought or ideas of the speaker. Now I hope you understand the difference between fact and opinion adjectives. Do you know how to use them together? When we use more than one adjective before a noun, we don't separate the adjectives with and, but generally separate them using a comma. In addition, we put opinion adjectives before fact adjectives. For example, a beautiful tall building, an attractive red shirt, an interesting academic essay. As you can see, the opinion adjectives including beautiful, attractive, and interesting are put before the fact adjectives tall, red, and academic, respectively. Finally, Luxury is often used as an adjective to describe places to stay and means of transport. For example, a luxury hotel, a luxury car. Now it's your turn. The more you practice, the better you will become. In this first assignment, work in pairs, match the adjectives below 1 to 12 with their opposites in the boxes. Then discuss which adjectives describe opinions O and which describe facts, F. Some may be both, F, O. I'm gonna give you around 10 to 15 seconds to accomplish this. Have you finished? Let's check out the answer together. 1. The opposite of modern is ancient. They both describe opinions and facts. 2. Noisy is the opposite of peaceful. They both describe facts. Alright, now I'm going to quickly show you all of the other answers. 3. Clean, dirty, F. 4. Busy, quiet, F. 5. Rural, urban, F. 6. Popular, unpopular, F, O. 7. Relaxing, stressful, F, O. 8. Impressive, unimpressive, O. 9. Wealthy, poor, F. 10. Colorful, dull, F, O. 11. Fashionable, outdated, F, O. Finally, 12. Wonderful. Awful. O. In our speaking exams, the more astonishing adjectives you can use to describe someone or something, the higher the score you're gonna get. Of course, you must learn how to use them effectively first. Try to avoid some common adjectives such as good or bad. Instead, you better learn to use a wide range of adjectives. You can start by learning all of the adjectives in this assignment. The examiners will be amazed if you use them in the IELTS speaking exams. Let me give you one example. When describing a city, some students may say, My city is a good place to live. They use the adjective good, which sounds okay, but not great. Let's try another one. My city is a fantastic place to live. How does that sound? Much better, right? If you're in fret with the adjective fantastic in this case, do you think that the examiners will be satisfied with it? Obviously, they will. Therefore, start searching for more adjectives and practice using them daily. 
Getting a high score is not going to be a big issue anymore if you do so. Now it's your chance to practice what you have just learned. In this second assignment, working pairs, use two adjectives from the previous assignment to describe each of these things. I'm going to give you around 10 to 15 seconds to accomplish this. Have you finished? Let's check out the answer together. Which two adjectives you may use to describe the first scene? You can use impressive, modern, an impressive, modern hotel, two, a busy urban area, three, a fashionable, wealthy district, four, beautiful, ancient monuments, five, a peaceful, rural landscape, and six, an exciting, colorful experience. As you can see, the adjectives in orange describe opinions, while the ones in blue describe facts. You can also see some adjectives in two different colors, orange and blue. Those adjectives describe both opinions and facts. Remember, when we use more than one adjective before a noun, we separate them using a comma and put opinion adjectives before fact adjectives. What you need to do now is to practice. Utilize these adjectives or some other adjectives you may find every time you describe someone or something. Try to get familiar with using adjectives when you speak. That will definitely bring you a high score in our speaking exams. That's it for today guys. I hope you find this lesson informative and helpful. If you do, please like and share. I see you in the next video.